This video will look at how you can insert tables in Microsoft PowerPoint. So to start off with, I've got a new presentation open here in the desktop app. If I navigate up to the insert tab here at the top, you'll see there's the option to insert a table. If I press the drop down menu here and go to the bottom, there is a button there that can allow me to insert the number of rows and columns that I like. There's also these boxes that will allow me to choose the size of the table that I want. I'm going to go with four by two here. Once I insert it, I can resize it by pulling the little handles on the side. I can also insert my text. So I have just some placeholder text here. But if we navigate up to the top, there's a table design tab up the top and there are several different formatting options for my table. So if I press the drop down menu there, I can format my table to look any way that I like. So you'll see if we want to choose a different color, we can select it. So there's also an option to shade a particular box. So all you have to do is select the box and just go to the shading option. There's the borders. So we can change the thickness of the borders around our table or around a particular cell in the table. So that's all the formatting options really available on the design tab. If you want to move around your table, you can just hover over it here and you can move it anywhere you like in the slide. So that's the desktop app. Let's move over to the iPad. So once I'm on the iPad here, I just want to select my PowerPoint app and I automatically have a new presentation open here for us. So again, we'll navigate up to the top here. We'll go to the insert tab and there is the option for table. So once we select that a table, a three by three table has been inserted for us. There is a option up the top here for a table menu. So here we can insert some rows above or below. We can insert a column to the left or the right. So we can change the size of our table. We can also delete columns or delete rows once we select them. We can delete the entire table if we like. There's some styling options. So you can choose the styling options available to you for the first row, last row, different uh, shaded columns there as well. We can have table styles, very similar to the desktop app. We can style our table whatever way we like. You can choose the shading option here either. So if I select an individual cell, I can shade it whatever color I like. So in this example, I've changed the shading color of this cell to orange. So there's some other options available. We can arrange our table. So therefore, if you want an image to appear in front of it or behind it, we can use that arrange button. The auto fit will auto fit the table to a particular space. The alignment means we can align our table to the left, right or center. And there is also the option for all text. 